time we're doing something really beautiful. I know we're talking about cooking and baking, but oh my gosh, Suzanne Clark from Living a Creative Life has made the most beautiful apples. You know, I think they're so pretty too, and guess what? They're so easy to make. No way. They really are. It's kind of like an apple pie meets a baked apple. I love it, and I think the kids <laughs> would love to do it too. What apples did you use and why? We're using Granny Smith. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to cut off the top. I just want to expose a little, you know, have a bigger surface. Now, even if you think that this apple is going to stand up, they really need to be secure when they're baking. So I just like to take a little sliver off to make sure that this apple is not going to wobble. That's kind of important. Now I'm going to use a melon baller. And the, the thing is, when we get done with all the scooping, we are actually going to kind of, you know, find that core, take it out, and dice up all the remaining apple. But at the end, this is what we're going to end up with right here. Okay, so and you have something to fill. Yeah, and you want to make sure you have like at least a quarter inch around wall. it. Okay. Otherwise, it'll fall apart. So now we have our chopped apples over here. And I okay. have a good little trick for you, too. Um, I was having a problem with my apples was browning really quick. I love I, this tip. What is this? It, you know, it's really vitamin C. It's citric acid. And it's no chemicals, really doesn't have a big flavor. But you add that to some water and toss your apples in it. And, and it keeps them from browning. And even school lunches. And you said it really works. It really works. This is done yesterday, and it's still not brown. Well, let's go ahead and make up the filling. We're going to add the cream cheese, the challenge cream cheese cheese in the top because wow. it's a little easier to stir. So and then we're going to add a, a third cup of brown sugar. At the end, I like to taste if you have super tart apples, maybe you want to add a little more sugar and that's okay. You have craisins? And yes, and I love this little addition. I think it's really fun to have this crayon apple filling. And then of course some cinnamon because apple pie is not the same without cinnamon. Okay, now and we're stirring all this together. Stir this all together and then we're going to go ahead and Add the apples. So that's good there. Now mm -hmm. I'm going to dump my apples in. Right. So there you go. And then we're going to stir those around. After we have it all stirred up, we want to take our apple shells and fill it up with that mixture. Okay. okay. Now what we're going to do is put a little pie crust on top. So this is going to be, you know, kind of like a creamy baked apple. And now we're going to have that pie crust. The secret I have found out, and if you don't do this, your pie crust is going to slip off your apple, is I'm going to use a little egg wash and a little pastry brush. And I'm just going to add a little bit of that egg wash around the edges. That's kind of our glue. But like I say, this is really important. The first few times I made them, the crust kept on falling off. I'm like, what's going on? Okay, and then so the egg wash up. just holds them up. Now we used um, pie crust already made, which yes. is great. And so that's what we have. if you want to make it yourself, go ahead. But I'm taking the Easy Rake today. <laughs> yeah, and so we're doing two different types. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have mine all in a circle. You've cut yours into strips. So for me, you said, I'm just going to use one of these. Yeah, and it just any, even if you didn't have a cook, big, cook, a big cutter like that, you, you just could a jar. use a jar lid, whatever. And we do want to have a little hole for a little decoration. And so we're going to add like a little leaf. There you go. How okay. cute is that? And then we're just going to take this, place it on top, and pat it around. And then after that, it'll go into the baking dish, okay? Now, for the another way to do it would be like more of a traditional lattice. And I just have my strips right here. I'm just going to, to add them across like this. And again, that egg wash is going to hold them in place. Yep. And once I get it going this way, I'm going to add a few that way. But, you know, the and big thing... And then you thing, took my inside of my leaf, right? Yeah. And uh, you can take these, you can <coughs> bake these on the side if you want to make little decorations. I could actually put this on right now. How cute. I think I would add, if I'm going to put it on right now, I'm going to add a little egg wash, okay? But then I want to really press those edges down, okay? Then we're going to take it, I'm going to put this in here with my other apple, and I want to brush the entire tops of these now with the egg wash. This is going to make it have that pretty brown and we're adding a cup of apple juice. And it, you know, we just did two. I would typically do six in there. And then I'm just going to pour. I don't even have to mix this up. It's really? all going to kind of just bake together in the oven. The brown sugar. And then I'm going to add some cubes of butter. Because it all melts together. Exactly. And when this melts, this turns into an apple caramel mm. sauce on the bottom. Oh, yum. And then you will have like a little topping for your apple. Do you put the out. sugar into or you just sprinkle that on top? I just sprinkle so that that's on it. top and that's all we really need. And that just makes the crust a little so more So it special. comes out? There you go. This is the final recipe, everybody. How cute are these? You can find the entire recipe online at livingacreativelife.net.